it and in today's episode i'm going to show you how it's still possible to obtain a backpacking permit to get to the iconic havasu pai falls if you're watching this video that probably means that you already know that obtaining a permit or a backpacking permit to go to havasu pai falls opens every year february 1st and within two hours to three hours most of the permits are sold out because there are a lot of people who are interested in doing that backpacking trip. Now, even though it is already February 8th, the registration is closed and you can't apply for a permit anymore, I'm going to show you how you can obtain a permit. Before we get to that, let's talk about how to create an account. So first of all, you want to go to havasupireservations.com. This is the official and the only website to make reservations for Havasu Falls Campground. And as you can see here, the first step is to create an account. So go ahead and click create your own account. And once you do, it's going to ask you for your email address and password in order to create your account. From there, you will receive a verification email that will be sent to your email address. So head back to your email address, look for an email from Havasu Pai Reservations and click their verification link. Now the link is going to take you back to the website where you're going to be asked to enter your information, including your first name, last name, email address, phone number, as well as the emergency contact information. Click save and continue. Basically, just follow the next steps and you will be all good to go and all set with your account creation. Now, every time you need to access your account, you're going to use the same email address and password to log in. Now, when it's February 1st, the normal route to make a reservation is by clicking make campground reservation. But today, since it's a little bit late for that, we're going to be looking at the cancellation and transfer list. And this is basically a list of reservations that some people want to transfer to someone else just because they probably changed their mind about the trip, the dates don't work them for them anymore or for any other reason. And this list is going to be updated on a daily basis at 8 a.m. Arizona time and as you can see here there are different campground reservations for either two people three people four people with different dates and if you're not able to see a date that works for you make sure that you are checking regularly since those get updated daily if you find something that you're interested in you go ahead and click view and this is basically going to take you to this page with a little bit more details about the price per person the price for the total arriving date departing date as well as how many nights are covered from there, you're going to be asked to enter your reservation information, including your personal information, as well as the payment information. You can go ahead and check the terms and condition and boom, you do have a reservation for Havasu Falls Campground. If none of the dates that are available right now are working for you and come February of next year, there are a couple of things that you should keep in mind. And I personally have been trying to get a permit for Havasu Falls for about three years, but this year we were fortunate enough and I obtained one, which I'm really excited for. Now, the things that I did differently this year is, first of all, I made sure that I already had my account created before the registration was open. That means either a week before or two weeks before, just because there is a lot of pressure on the website comes February 1st. So you want to make sure that you have your account already created on havasupireservations.com. The second thing that I did differently this year is adding my payment method to my account early on so once you create your account there will be an option for you to add your payment method and make sure that it's available and it's the one that you want to use going forward the third thing that i did differently this year was making sure that i know exactly which dates i'm interested in and i also put a list of three to four other options in case i cannot find a permit for the dates that i'm interested in so basically i just listed all the options that can be a possibility for me this is pretty much it for today's video if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below and i will be very happy to answer them we are going to create more content about this iconic backpacking trip if you enjoyed this content give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications every time we have a new video out with that your trekking pals habiba and alex and we'll see you soon on another adventure